listening wherever you are in this small, small world. Um, I would like to welcome back everybody that's previously watched my videos, and I would like to welcome in everybody that's new as well, who doesn't love new people. Um, today we are doing Deli's, what did she call it, Build Between the Lines Challenge. So, as you can see at the beginning, there were green spots and then there were tiles placed already. And so what we're doing here is we have to build in between those green, in the green spaces in between all the quote unquote, I'm gonna use it as patio because that's what I use them as. And then you will get to see everything that I did in this build. Um, I did not cut anything out, you get to see it all. So right here we are designing the shape and um, just kind of seeing how everything goes. All I did was just start. I didn't have a full plan. I knew I wanted to do modern because of the shape of the layout on the ground that I saw, but I didn't know quite how I wanted to execute that. So here we are. This is going to be more of our final shape. Um, I don't think I really change anything except for adding like planter boxes and fountains outside. Um, but we are doing something a little different. Um, I was inspired color wise by these rose gold like doors and windows from the get together pack. So that's going to be a main one that you'll need for sure. Um, I did not limit my pack usage or budget for this build. I just went for it. <laughs> um, here we are. This brick is my favorite brick. And the eco lifestyle wood is like my favorite wood. Um, we went ahead and did the concrete or terracotta or whatever it is on the bottom quadrant of it. Um, just to let it kind of blend in from the concrete tiles for the patio to the wall. Obviously there's not a texture there, but the color just makes it feel like it blends much better. Um, and then right here we're going ahead and putting in some fountains. And then we also have the nice green grass roof. I don't know why and what made me do that but I love it. I loved how it turned out. Um, here we are deciding the interior layout and applying a couple of windows. Um, I only did a few just so I can kind of add more later if I wanted to. You can always add more windows. It's kind of hard to decide the whole outside and get sold on it and then you have to move a window. It kind of hurts your soul a little bit. Um, we're also using the medium wall height so I could play with the platforms. That's why you see the walls being so tall. Um, plus those doors and windows are the medium wall height doors and windows and I really wanted to use them. So right here we're using kind of, I, I thought they were a kind of rose gold toned wood and that's what it looked like to me. So that's why we're using these countertops. I also wanted to go with something kind of industrial on the inside just because of most of the windows going to have uh, the metal framing and it just made sense to me. Um, so we're gonna first walk into a tiny foyer area that's full of light. Um, we're gonna put some stuff in there later uh, and then into here the galley kitchen and then it's gonna go into the living room and then it'll go into um, a very big dining I say big dining space it's a very long table um, we did black appliances everything in the kitchen and the dining theme area just so they kind of match and then we actually did kind of a burgundy and not really pastel blue, it's still a rich color blue, but it's kind of almost like it's faded blue. Um, <clears throat> and here we are deciding what dining table and chairs. It sounds weird, but I really liked these. I don't know why, they the, the swatches matched, okay? But the Discover University chairs seem to fit this theme I was going with. 
I normally wouldn't use those Discover U University chairs, but for some reason it fit the table and it fit the theme and we just rolled with it. Um, we're gonna use a lot of the industrial kit. I loved the industrial kit. I still love the industrial kit. Hate me all you want if you don't like the kits. I'm sorry, my opinion. <laughs> um, but it's very controversial to enjoy the kits, but I think they're interesting. Um, I'm not a big cast creator, so I I haven't bought any of the Create a Sim um, style kits. I'm more of a builder. I don't do a whole lot of um, Create a Sim unless I'm literally playing the game and I only do my character herself. And then I'm actually thinking of... I have one sim that I've started on doing. I'm building her a house right now, and y'all will see that up in a couple of days. But um, I'm thinking of actually creating a sim for her to get with. So right here, we are deciding on what fireplace we want to use. And I thought I wanted to use the eco lifestyle one, but I said nah, no. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna use the cottage living fireplace. Because of this TV jutting off of the wall, um, the cottage living fireplace works perfectly to put behind it because you don't have to alt place anything. Um, it just goes right on top. You just have to use your BB.move objects cheat. Simple as that. Um, we use the industrial loft coffee table. I thought that this Eco Lifestyle blue pinstripe chair matched this leather on the industrial kits couch so well. Um, we kind of, we have a few different wood tones, but they all match, if that makes any sense. Like it, it ties in the whole room because of all the different ones we have. We have them scattered across the whole living area. Um, this is kind of an entertainer's home, um, people that like to have home entertainment and like home gatherings. Uh, it works really well. Your sims could easily have a few people over for parties or their kids' friends. Um, I did picture two adults and a teen that lived here as of now. We do have a community computer. No one has their own, but there is a community one. <laughs> which sounds weird considering it's such an extravagant home but they still I picture that they still believe in bonding values they're not independent as much um, the family still wants to stay like a like an actual family <laughs> um, we do keep the chess table there uh, we're gonna light up the build for nighttime I think this turns out so well I don't normally do a lot of nighttime lighting for my sims builds and I think this just turned out wonderful um, we're adding the trim to the fountains I think soon we're gonna put the little water emitters in it or did I do that later I bounce around a lot in my builds. I don't know if anybody's, if you've watched my other ones, you'll realize that I'll do one room and then I'll go outside and then I'll do another three rooms and then I'll go back outside and then I get tired of that. And I just rotate how often I do things. Not how often I do things, but I rotate what I do in the moment just so I don't get tired of the build and bored of the build because it takes me so long to build these things. Um, <clears throat> I think this one by itself, it's not a very big build and it's kind of detailed, but I'm pretty sure it took me about three-ish hours to do and to finish. Um, uh, I don't know, I guess my indecisiveness and um, wanting to add these little details and then I get tired of it and then I'll stop. And then when you stop in the middle of a build, it feels like it takes you longer than it actually does <clears throat> but it doesn't really take that long when you think about it I couldn't imagine me doing a mansion like a mansion would take me months to build it feels like um, we do add this little waterfall just for the serenity of the meditation poof I thought 
if I were gonna meditate, which I don't, but if I were going to, I would enjoy hearing that running waterfall sound. Cause who wouldn't? I mean, it, running water is like the best sound ever. Um, and here we are adding a few more windows. Sorry if you heard my dog barking. She's she's a guard dog. She thinks she's a guard dog. Um, here I am adding a few more windows to the exterior. I went ahead and went with black just because everything on the interior was already like black doors and black accents. So I went ahead and just threw that in to tie everything together. Um, <clears throat> I'm finally getting around to painting the walls. It took me long enough, right? Um, so we do the brick from the columns inside. We do an eco lifestyle wallpaper just to add some texture to the wall without it being super bold in a gray. And then we keep our white walls as well. Now we're moving into the master bedroom. We keep this red swatch. I wasn't sold on it quite at first, um, but by the end I really sold myself on it. <laughs> And I really enjoy the way that this turned out. We have a matching red wall. We'll do a few blue accents, which sounds a little odd, but once you see it, I think you'll really like what I did. Um, you'll always see an ottoman at the end of a master bedroom bed, just about. Just about always. I find it very... I don't have one in my house, but I feel like if I had a bigger bedroom, 100% I would put an ottoman on the end of the bed. Just because it makes it easier to put on your shoes or to like set your jacket down or, you know, just a, a, a small storage space or an organizational space. I like the ottomans that you could literally like open up and put storage inside of it. So that's like what goes through my head. Ow. I slammed my hand on my table. Um, that's what goes through my head when I picture the ottoman at the end of the bed. Um, I do enjoy with the industrial bed that it does have pull-out drawers on the underneath. That's a really nice little detail that is super realistic. <clears throat> we use our jungle adventure mirror and then we use the dresser that matches the industrial pack. I use this tapestry as a curtain. Um, if y'all don't like that, feel free to take it away. Um, this is on the gallery under the... You can actually search the hashtag Deli Crest. Is that what she has it under? Or my EA ID or gallery ID is... Um, I can never remember if it's the or that. If you just look up... Uh, bogus my youtube username it is in the description so it should pull it up or um it's the or that bogus daughter so if you just look up bogus b-o-b-u-s it should pull it right up because i don't think anybody else has that name um we're gonna do all of our little detailing right now um we'll go back and also do some more plants around the place i don't go overloading with the plants like i normally do i sometimes literally put tons of plants in a house but because of the family that I pictured in this house I did not picture them being like a huge plant fan just something that was really easy and simple to take care of <clears throat> or fake like the pompous grass I imagine it's a fake grass um, a fake plant um, I finally get around to putting a fridge in the kitchen I don't know if any of y'all noticed that that I did not put a fridge at first um, and I also, I didn't almost forget the trash can. I knew where I wanted the trash can to go. I just waited till the very last minute to put it in. <laughs> so don't early assume that I didn't put one in. I promise. Y'all just saw me do it. Um, we put a few little planters around. Just small ones. Nothing too big. Um, our biggest plants are the outdoor plants, obviously. Here is a tray with drinks on it and a table that I imagine, you know, when you're meditating, sometimes you get thirsty or whatever. Who wants to walk all the way inside for that? Nobody. Um, <laughs> um, we get around to putting the mailbox, the outdoor trash can. We kind of just tuck it in that corner right there. Um, the outside has a ping pong table, a swing set, 
uh, what else? The picnic table with from uh, Snowy Escape. I was gonna put a kiddie pool, but I didn't know where I wanted to put it, so I just x nade that idea. And then we use these island living low-lying plants. I love them because they're super fluffy. And then we're also using our pale low-lying yellow flowers or whatever they're called. Very long name. Um, and then we also put some rose bushes inside these planters. Um, that one with the waterfall, I did not put anything in, but y'all can feel free, obviously, to put stuff in it. I just felt like there was already so many plants around the edges that I didn't want to do more. And I was trying to put some Strangerville plants in the planter boxes, but none of them really fit with what I already had, so I scrapped that idea as well. I do something very interesting with this bathroom. I, I say very interesting. A little unique, I guess, is what you can say. Most of it is the slate style stuff from uh, Seasons, which is interesting. Um, we use a Seasons shower as well, but the walls and the flooring is from Spa Day, and the walls I will actually mix up just a little bit. And what I'll do is take that same pattern wallpaper and do the reverse. Um, colors on it so it's actually a black stripe and I put it on two of the walls and then the other two stay with the white stripe just so it adds some dimension to it without being super bold and crazy um, but it is something that I really haven't seen anybody else do with this wallpaper so I figured it's a little out there I don't know maybe y'all guys have done it let me know if you have in the comments I don't know I always like to put robes up in a bathroom like if it doesn't have a robe it feels bare and I'm not an avid robe wearer like I have one I kind of use it as a jacket when it because sometimes it's easier just to grab my robe real quick and then run outside than to grab an actual jacket from the closet and then go outside <laughs> who cares my neighbors don't care um, we are moving into the teens bedroom that I pictured uh, she is the painter. That's where actually I picture a lot of the paintings come from, is from her actually painting everything for you. Um, and we actually put a swing set out back as well, which I did mention that earlier. Um, I feel like some of the plants that came in the house were actually inspired from, you know, this daughter teen that paints. Um, you could also have a son that likes pink. Who knows? Everybody's different and everybody has their own thing. We have this mint color as well to tie in the Moschino stuff wallpaper. I really enjoyed the way that this bedroom turned out. It would be like a dream bedroom for any teenager, I feel like, as long as, you know, they liked painting and pink and mint. I'm not really a mint, or not mint, I'm a mint fan. I'm not a pink fan. Um, but if I had this bedroom as a younger me, I think that I wouldn't mind the pink as much. Um, I'd probably change the color if I could, but if I couldn't, not a big deal. Um, we changed the big curtain right here to black. We have the pink Discover University curtains, and then we have a pink rug. And then what I do is I actually put a couch and a TV with the Tiny Living and Parenthood packs. So, <clears throat> We do this pink and white couch and then we actually make this TV stand black and then we put a couple of poofs just because I imagine that this painter is kind of a social butterfly with the friends that are artistic and it's nice for her to paint and watch TV or it'd be like a paint by reference quote unquote paint by reference not realistically but um, we put our thermostat in as well and then I think that is it, guys. I just adjust a few things, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your morning, evening, day, whatever's left. Bye, everybody.